It's Wednesday, 29th August, and this is Top Stories by Rooster News. Protecting the Taj Mahal means taking care of everything around the mausoleum, commissioned by the Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan for his wife, Mumtaz Mahal, in 1632, the Supreme Court said on Tuesday. A three-judge bench, led by Justice Matan Lokur, said the monument is only the centerpiece. The forest cover, the river Yamuna, and the grounds of the Taj Mahal should also be safe from pollution. The bench said that the vision document for the Taj Trapezium Zone should examine and end the proliferation of hazardous industries, foundries, seepage and emissions which are slowly but steadily destroying the Taj Mahal and the protective cover around it. Newly elected DMK President MK Stalin yesterday unveiled a new ideology for the party. Both humans and animals cannot survive if they do not make changes in their tune with the times. Let the change begin from us. The Stalin you have seen has taken a new birth. Today, I am a different Stalin. I have been reborn with the DMK's genes and also a dream to create a better future. I also greet the party members who have taken a new birth, he said after assuming charge as the president of the party. The new ideology, he said, was to have a rationalist view of the world, give equal respect to women and equal rights to transgenders and the differently abled, restore individual liberty and freedom of expression, and oppose political parties that seek to destroy languages and impose religious ideology on the country. Mr. Stalin said he took great pride in calling himself Kalainer's follower than his son. The Forest Department yesterday got a chance to mitigate human-elephant conflict in Coimbatore with the successful test flight of two advanced drones. Using the drones from the peripheries, officials successfully located a herd of wild elephants roaming the reserve forest area between Mangarai and Periyatadagam. The test flight was quite successful. The drones could stream high-quality video of the elephant herd even from the height of 70 meters. The buzzing sound of the rotors also made the elephants retract further into the reserve forest, said Deepak Srivastava, field director of Mudamalai Tiger Reserve and Mukurti National Park and chief conservator of forests Coimbatore Circle. The department had procured six drones using funds allocated under Tamil Nadu Biodiversity and Greening Project. Two of them were allotted to Coimbatore, which has recently been witnessing frequent instances of human-elephant conflicts. District Forest Officer D. Venkatesh said four to five staff attached to each of the seven forest rangers in the Coimbatore Division would be trained to operate the drones. Newly recruited sub-inspectors of police have been given a target to achieve 100% installation of CCTV units in Mailapur Police District within a month. At the insistence of Police Commissioner A.K. Vishwanathan, the city police personnel, from constables to officers, are conducting consistent campaigns to bring the entire city under CCTV surveillance with an aim to prevent crime and crack down offences expeditiously. The deputy commissioners of 14 police districts in the city have taken an effort on their part to achieve 100% installation. N. M. Milvanan, deputy commissioner of police, Mailapur, activated the entire force of eight police stations which are under his control. We round up this newscast with fuel prices from key metros. In Delhi, petrol is sold for 78.10 rupees per litre and diesel for 69.66 rupees per litre. In Chennai, petrol is sold for 81.14 rupees per litre and diesel for 73.59 rupees per litre. In Kolkata, petrol is sold for 81.03 rupees per litre and diesel for 72.50 rupees per litre. In Mumbai, petrol is sold for 85.52 rupees per litre and diesel for 73.95 rupees per litre.